Whew. I just came back from the Burbank card show and added a few nice cards to the $20 sports card collection challenge. This is episode six. Now, when we last left off, I bought these curry cards to add to the collection, which left me with $6 in the card fund. Since then, I sold nine more cards, which included some of those Jordans and Currys that I picked up in the previous episode, and that gives me $30 to spend in the card fund. Now, it's been a while since I made an update on this $20 sports card collection challenge. But the main reason is because I wanted to build up some funds for the Burbank card show and see if I can add some nice quality cards to the collection. If you've been following along on this journey, you'll come to realize that a lot of the cards that I've purchased have been cards that I've used to flip. Sure, there are a few keepers here and there, but the main intent was to build up enough funds so that I could buy nicer cards. I mean, you can either call it flipping or consolidation. But the fact of the matter is, is that I wanted to wait for a big card show before I bought my next set of cards. And with the Burbank card show just around the corner, I wanted that to be my next opportunity. You see, bigger card shows such as Hofstra, Dallas, Midwest Monster, and of course the National, it brings in people from around the country and with that brings cards that you normally wouldn't see. Now, of course, a lot of these are of the higher end variety and usually out of my price range, but it's sometimes nice to look at some eye candy from time to time. Now, that also doesn't mean you can't find some nice cheaper gems here and there. Sure, you may be able to find some of these cards on eBay, but you tend to have more room for negotiation at a card show when you're doing it face to face. So what I ended up getting was these three cards right here. A 2015 Select Tony Parker jersey card numbered out of 75. A 2012 Gold Standard Dwayne Wade jersey card numbered out of 149. And a 2012 Prism Insert Downtown Bound of LeBron James. I was able to negotiate a deal for $30 for these three cards. Now, the Parker card will be used to try and flip to try to replenish some of the funds back into the card fund. And the LeBron and Wade seem to be keepers in this one. Now, while one of my main focuses of this card show was to buy cards to add to the $20 collection, I also saw it as an opportunity to add some new cards to my store inventory. And I'll be going back the next day to start focusing more on my PC. But as it stands now, the $20 PC is coming along really nicely as these are some of the highlights of the collection. And if you missed the last episode, and want to find out how I added some nice curries to the collection, then you can check out this video right here.